Hello and welcome to another Creative GIMP text effects tutorial. My name is Chris Parker and today I'm going to show you how to create dripping text on a canvas in GIMP. So check it out. Here is the final project you're going to create. How awesome is that? When you're done, you'll know how to add a canvas texture with one click, how to mix paint on the canvas, make that paint drip off the text and more. So are you ready to master this GIMP text effect? Awesome. Let's do it. As always, we need to create a new document to get started. So go to File, New. And like with other GIMP text effect tutorials that we've done, we're going to do the same size, 1920 by 1080. But this time, the resolution isn't as important as some of the other text effects we've done because we're going to be distorting the letters anyways. So usually, I like a resolution of 304 text effects or documents that I create in GIMP with text. But you could use a resolution of 72 and the benefit for this project is the edits are going to be applied faster because the file size is smaller versus a resolution of 300. So if you have a slower computer, you may want to do 72 for the resolution. I'm going to keep it at 300 and I'm going to click OK. I want to change this color, whatever color you have, let's change it to a light cream color. So if you want to use the same color, type in this hexadecimal number right here and click OK. Then grab your bucket fill tool, click on the layer to fill it in. Next, we're going to add a canvas texture to the layer to give it a little bit more depth and add a little more creativity so it looks like you're putting paint on a canvas. So it's real easy to do in GIMP because we have a filter under filters. Go to artistic and select apply canvas. And you can make adjustments to the tool options here if you want. I'm just going to leave it at the default for now. And that gives us our canvas texture. All right, let's grab our text tool from our toolbar or use the letter T, which is the keyboard shortcut. Once I click, I can make my text selection options here. For the font, I'm going to use this one here. I think it's Fugaz 1, something like that. It's a free font and you can find the link to download this in the description below if you want to use the same one. If not, just use whatever you want. For the size, I'm going to do 500 and let's select black for the color. Doesn't really matter, just as long as you can see what you're typing out. I type out drip and I'm going to grab my move tool and move it into position. So right about there. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered for this particular project. Next, let's make a selection of our letters by right clicking on our drip layer here and selecting alpha to selection. Next, we have an image that I selected that you downloaded previously, hopefully. If not, go ahead and find that file to download either from the right panel or depending on where you're watching this tutorial, it may be in the description below. So grab that file from your operating system or the folder where it's downloaded to, click and drag it to your document and it will automatically be added as a new layer. Now I do want to move this layer so that the colors line up exactly how I want them based on the colors I want for this project. So if I click and drag the layer here, I can see inside of the letters the colors that I'm going to have based on where I position it. Now I like these colors down here, but I also like some of these colors up here. So by using different colors, that adds a little bit more interest to the final effect. So now we're going to right click on this image layer and select add alpha channel, which is going to allow us to add transparency to this layer when we cut out the individual letters, which we can do with our delete key or our backspace key. But first we need to invert the selection. So go up to select and select invert and then delete or backspace key. And you're left with those colors inside of the letters. Let's deselect with select and none. 
we can go ahead and turn off this drip layer here because we don't need it anymore. Actually, I'm going to drag this down to the bottom and I'm going to reselect my image layer here. So I'm just going to type image drip. Let's go ahead and change the layer boundary size to match the canvas. Go to layer and select layer to image size. Now the fun begins. I'm going to go ahead and grab my zoom tool with the letter Z. Click once to zoom in. Now to mix these colors together to make it look like it's paint and to make it look like it's dripping, we need our warp tool, which is this tool right here. So it's the warp transform tool. So select that and it works just like a brush. If you take a look at your tool options here, you have size, hardness, strength, spacing, and some other options here. So basically I'm just going to leave everything set to the default for now, but I will increase and decrease the size of the brush depending on the part of the canvas that I'm working on and the letters that I'm working on. So I'm going to start off small so that that brush is inside of the letters. And this is how it works. We just click, hold down your left mouse button and drag down and it begins to push those colors together and mixing them. So you can do a swirly like that if you want, or just continue pushing down. And here, as you can see, as I'm going past the letter right there, it looks like it's dripping. Now to create what looks like a round drip like this right here, it's a little bit harder. We need to squeeze or pinch those colors together. So I'm starting on the outside and pushing in. And then I'm going to start on the inside here and drag out to create that round teardrop type shape. Okay. And then I can pinch it back in a little bit here to make it a little bit rounder. So there we go. We have some dripping paint. Let's go ahead and increase our size a little bit. And I'm going to go over here on this side and work on the letter D here. Maybe a little bit on the inside. And if you start up here on the top as well, it's going to start pushing it down. So I'm just going to alternate back and forth with different size brushes to get the look that I'm after. Now I'm dragging to the left. Maybe I have some paint dripping this way as well. So you can push this down in any direction that you like to get the look for your creative vision. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this real quick. If we go with the larger size, it's going to work a little bit faster since it's covering more area versus a smaller brush. Work on that. Oh, I need to do it on the inside here as well. I didn't mix the colors together. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just clicking and dragging, clicking, dragging. Can't forget the dot up here. I'm going to push this down a little bit. All right. Now it's your turn to complete this text design project and to post it in our private Facebook group. To join our group, you can locate the link in the description below. Also, please support my channel by commenting on this video, liking it, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Don't forget to check out my GIMP text effects playlist that has over 20 more tutorials and projects on text effects. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.